It's gonna be crazy in there. I just hope he don't use his elbows like he do a lot. What about all the little low blows that you threw at Lil Santa Cruz or when you hit Francisco Fonseca in the back of the head where they sure DQ'd your ass? You know how when somebody first come in the gym and like they've been coming for like a little minute so they think they nice now. He's not an awkward fighter. He's just a dumbass fighter. Motherfucker, you a bitch. You scared of shit. Hey, There's the no way I can miss you. the big ass hands like the koala shape hair. You're a fucking koala with chlamydia, man. What? This guy is a clown. I'm the top guy of 135 or 130 or 140. I got way more skills than you. We're like, what? Because you go. Uh, we're down. We're down. I'm the biggest name in boxing. Y'all gonna see this shit. May 28th, I'm gonna yes, knock Javante yes, yes. the fuck out. And time is now. <laughs> fuck all the talking. Time is now. Saturday night is this due date. Brooklyn, New York is the backdrop, and bad blood is the theme behind us. The Barclays Center Saturday night on Showtime pay per view. Gervonta Tank Davis and fellow unbeaten lightweight Rolando Roly Romero. They're going to step on that scale in moments. I'm Brian Campbell, Raul Marquez, the former junior middleweight champion of the world and 2003 NBA champion and co-host of all the smoke on Showtime Digital is Steven Jackson. Fellas, uh, all champs up here in these parts, but it's not so much about the title belt Saturday night, 9 p.m. Eastern, when Rolly Romero and Gervonta Davis step in the ring inside the Barclays Center. It's more about respect, bad blood. Steven Jackson, you've been in a few trash-talking tips in your day. Yeah. What about this energy that we felt this week leading up to the big one coming you know, Saturday night? Trash talking and boxing was what, what, what makes the fights, right? I think um, the difference with this fight was with um, Tank. Roley is really selling this fight. He's really he's really confident. And he's talking like he knows something that we don't know. So that's what's making it interesting. <laughs> but we know what Tank's going to bring. We know Tank's coming with the thunder. Uh, I'm just excited that he's fighting somebody that's really pushing it. Raul, this feels like a throw the betting odds out the window type of fight. How do you explain that to the casual fan? What does Roly Romero bring that maybe other Gervonta opponents haven't? Well, he, first of all, he yaps his mouth a lot. You know, he brings a lot. That makes it exciting. I mean, this is entertaining for me. Like, just watching Roly, how confident he is. I, I'm pumped up about the fight, man. And uh, I think uh, somebody's getting knocked out. I don't see this yeah. fight going the distance. The, both of them hate each other. And like I said... It's not going to a round. No sleep till it's not, Brooklyn. It's not. <laughs> there you somebody, go. <laughs> somebody's going to sleep Saturday night. Look, we have a star-studded pay-per-view. 9 p.m. Eastern, as I mentioned, Saturday night from the Barclays Center. Uh, an arena in which Gervonta Tank Davis has twice won world titles in 2017 and 2019. You can go right now to show.com slash PPV. Get ahead of it. Put your order in now. Saturday night, fellas, we're going to see fireworks. But from an actual X's and O's standpoint, Raul, I want to come back to you. Roley's a little bit crude. Yes. Does it have to be a war for him to hand the first defeat to Gervonta Davis? I think so. I really think so. I think he needs to force. That's why he's been yapping so much, talking, trying to piss off Tank Davis. And that's what he needs to do right off the bat when the bell rings. Walk up to him, no respect, start winging away. I mean, the guy is he's big he's strong you could never count him out at any point during the fight because he's got that natural power you got tank's got to fight a very disciplined fight at the beginning mid through the fight even at the back end of the fight he's always got to think that guy's coming from nowhere from different angles with power and he's got to be real careful with his defense indeed stack quickly before we throw to the scales here what are you expecting to see on the scales this is the last time tank and roley are going to go face to face before saturday yeah this, we're a day away from the fight so i think the trash talk i think a lot of that's going to be put to the side it's game time now both guys will come with their game faces I think everything that needs to be that needs to be said has been said already. It's time to get to it. Stay tuned. After the way in, the three of us going to give you some analysis, break it down, maybe some interviews too. But for now, we see what happens. This is the final face to face. This is the way in on the scales over to the Hall of Famer, the classy one, Jimmy Lennon Jr. <laughs> Man, I don't want to pop out in college. I don't want to move in back. Man, I don't want to move in back. 
Ladies and gentlemen, a very good afternoon to you and welcome to Barclays Center here in Brooklyn, New York as Premier Boxing Champions presents the official weigh-in for our big night of action taking place right here Saturday night, tomorrow night, live on a Showtime. And at this time, we present a prelude to our pay-per-view attractions. We have preliminary bouts that will be streaming live on Showtime's YouTube, Showtime Sports YouTube channel. We're going to bring out our fighters at this time. First, we present fighters, two of them undefeated young welterweights in a six-round attraction. Please welcome to the stage at this time... From Springdale, Arkansas, his record is 4-0 with four knockouts, the undefeated Jose Belloso. From Washington, D.C., also undefeated, 3-0 with two knockouts. Please welcome Jalil Hackett. Up first, ready? Looks like our fighters are ready to step onto the scale. Welterweight attraction. Both of them undefeated scheduled six rounds of boxing first to the scale. Here is Jose Belloso. Hold still. 145 and three quarter pounds, 145 and three quarter pounds for Jose Belloso. And his opponent from Washington, D.C., his record 3 0, 2 knockouts, the undefeated Jaleel Hackett. And even 145 and even 145 pounds for Jaleel Hackett. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're ready to bring out our fighters and our next streaming attraction. Once again, it's a prelude to our pay-per-view preliminary streaming live on Showtime Sports YouTube channel. Begins at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, 4 p.m. Pacific tomorrow night. Well, our super welterweight scheduled 10 rounds of boxing. We invite he'll be fighting out of the red corner from Plainville, New Jersey, Jimmy Williams. Arias. And it's super welterweight scheduled 10 rounds of boxing, six knockouts in his 27 professional bouts, stepping onto the scale at this time, Jimmy Williams. No, no, you got to check the Henry, Henry. Yeah. Give him the opportunity to check the weapon. Give me four minutes. Give me four minutes. Give me four minutes. Give me and now his opponent from Boca Raton, Florida. Nine knockouts in his 23 professional bouts. Luis Arias. Hey. 
155 and a quarter pounds, 155 and one quarter pounds for Luis Arias. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go from Barclays Center here in Brooklyn, New York. Premier Boxing Champions continues with our official weigh-in for our big night of action. This time we move to our pay-per-view bouts, and it's all brought to you by Mayweather Promotions, GTD Promotions, TGB Promotions, and live on Showtime Pay-Per-View. Sponsored by DraftKings Sportsbook, Jurassic World Dominion, in theaters June 10th, and The Black Phone with Ethan Hawke in theaters June 24th. Well, fans, our opening attraction on pay-per-view features super featherweights in the ring. We welcome them to the stage at this time. First, from Miami by way of Puerto Rico. Southpaw super featherweight standout here is Luis Melendez. And we invite his opponent to the stage at this time from Los Mochis, Sinaloa, Mexico. The WBC number four ranked super featherweight in the world, Eduardo Zurdo Ramirez. And we're ready to bring our fighters to the scale at this time. Super featherweights, 10 rounds of boxing. His record 17 and 1 with 13 knockouts, making his showtime debut. Here is Luis Melendez. Luis, Luis Melendez weighs in at 130 pounds and even 130 pounds. Yes, yes, yeah. George, you're going to keep the banner for him too. Okay. He's going to need it too. And now we invite his opponent to the scale at this time with a record of 26 wins, two losses, three draws, one no contest with 12 wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the number four super featherweight world contender, Eduardo Surdo Ramirez.
130 pounds, 130, the same as his opponent for Eduardo Surdo Ramirez. Ramirez takes the scale just to reset Brian Campbell, Raul Marquez, Steven Jackson with you outside the Barclay Center as the undercard fighters continue to step to the scale as we get closer for Davis versus Romero. Of course, it all goes down Saturday night, 9 p.m. Eastern on Showtime Pay-Per-View. You can order that right now, show.com slash PPV. But, fellas, uh, we see some confident walks to the scale here. Uh, we saw a chair fall off this announce <laughs> uh, desk right here, and uh, luckily I wasn't maimed, but... Uh, uh, good crowd as well out here in a, in a fight city. You want to talk about a fight city? It's Brooklyn, New York. Hey, play, players mess up, too. Players mess up, too. <laughs> You're all right. A lot of guys up there. You can tell these guys are in great shape, man. Ready to fight. Weather couldn't be better for a fight day, though. There they are, ladies and gentlemen, Eduardo Surdito Ramirez versus Luis Melendez opens up our Showtime pay-per-view in this super featherweight special attraction scheduled for 10 rounds of boxing. Tomorrow night live, Premier Boxing Champions presents from Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York. All right, fans, here we go, continuing with our weigh-in, once again presented by Premier Boxing Champions from Barclays Center here in New York. At this time, we present our fighters in the super welterweight division, and we invite to the stage at this time from Garden Grove, California, the super welterweight batter, battler, Luke Santa Maria. And inviting his opponent to the stage at this time, he is already seated, ready to go from Casa Grande, Arizona. The undefeated rising super wealth contender and the popular Jesus Mono Ramos. And our fighters are ready to step on to the scale. Once again, we're in the super welterweight division. We're scheduled 10 rounds of boxing. His record is 13-2-1 with seven knockouts. Welcome to the scale, Luke Santa Maria. One hundred fifty-four pounds, right at the super welterweight limit. One hundred fifty-four pounds. And out of the scale, with a record of eighteen to zero, with fifteen big knockouts, the undefeated Jesus Mono Ramos. One fifty-three and a half pounds. One hundred fifty-three and a half pounds for Jesus Mono Ramos. Jesus Ramos steps to the scale. The unbeaten, good-looking one hundred fifty-four pound contender, Raúl. We know Santa Maria, his opponent's going to be coming on, but I'm certainly expecting fireworks in this pay-per-view undercard match. Yeah, especially because Santa Maria beat Jesus Ramos's brother, Abel Ramos, uncle, so right? Uncle, yeah, uncle, yeah. So there's some kind of rivalry there you know he wants to revenge he wants revenge good energy between the two and the talk this week of course jesus ramos has taken control and just his teen years and in, in this early start to his career a big time puncher yeah he's a junior middleweight to to look at and down there the future are, ladies and gentlemen promising to be an outstanding exciting confrontation in the super welterweight division scheduled 10 rounds of boxing jesus mono ramos versus luke santa maria once again 10 rounds of boxing brought to you by may weather promotions gtd promotions tgb promotions and showtime
All right, fans, here we go. Premier Boxing Champions continues with our official weigh-in. At this time, we present the first of our world title attractions. Please welcome to the stage at this time the challenger joining us from Cork, Ireland. Making his first attempt at a world title, here is Gary Spike Sullivan. And his opponent is the defending champion, fighting out of Houston by way of Guantanamo, Cuba. He's the current WBA middleweight champion of the world. He is Eris Landi, the American Dream, Lara. And now we're going to bring our fighters to the scale. This is for the WBA Middleweight Championship of the World. The weight limit on this fight is 160 pounds even. First of the scale is the challenger. Record of 31 and 4 with 21 knockouts. He's the world rank contender. Please welcome Gary Spike Sullivan. Gary Spike Sullivan weighs in at a ready 159 pounds. 159 for the challenger. And his opponent is making his 12th world title appearance. He's the two-time super welterweight champion of the world and the current WBA middleweight champion of the world, Eris Lundy, the American dream, Lara. One hundred fifty nine and three quarter pounds. One fifty nine and three quarter pounds. Both fighters make the weight limit. It's for the WBA middleweight championship of the world. The co main event on Saturday night, as you saw, Lara and O'Sullivan make the weight. Looking very interesting. Guys, we've known 39 year old Arislandi Lara for years, but we've known him as that slick Cuban pure boxer. These last few years, he lets those hands go, Raul. Yeah, I mean, uh, he even talked about it. He likes to sit down more on his shots. He likes to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. And Sullivan, that's what he wants. So it's going to be bombs away. You know, they're two veterans, 39, 37 years old. The loser here has got to think, hey, should I keep going in boxing? And there they are, ladies and gentlemen. It's for the WBA middleweight championship of the world. The champion, Eris Landi, the American dream, Lara, defends his title against the challenger and popular challenger. That is Gary Spike Sullivan. Well, fans, here we go. Premier Boxing Champions presents the official weigh-in for the highly anticipated main event of the evening for the lightweight championship of the world. And at this time, we invite our fighters to the stage. And it's all brought to you by Mayweather Promotions, GTD Promotions, TGB Promotions, and Showtime. Sponsored by DraftKings Sportsbook, Jurassic World Dominion, in theaters June the 10th, and The Black Phone, starring Ethan Hawke in theaters June 24th. Well, our opening attraction features our fighters in the lightweight division. Once again, both of them undefeated. Neither of them ever been knocked down. Both of them hard-hitting fighters. It's champion versus number one contender. First, the challenger to the stage from Las Vegas. He is the hard-hitting top contender. Please welcome Rolando Roli. Romero
And now, ladies and gentlemen, we invite the defending champion to the stage from Baltimore, Maryland. He is the five-time three-division champion of the world, Gervonta Tank Davis. All right, fans, here we go, bringing to the scale at this time a battle of undefeated power punchers. The WBA lightweight championship of the world scheduled 12 rounds of boxing. First, the challenger, the knockout artist with a record of 14 wins, no losses, 12 big wins coming by way of knockout. Ranked the WBA number one contender, the undefeated Rolando Roli Romero. One hundred thirty four and one quarter pounds, one thirty four and one quarter pounds for the challenger Rolando Roli Romero. And now the defending champion, 26 and 0 with 24 big knockouts, the popular and acclaimed defending WBA lightweight champion of the world, Gervonta Tank Davis. Already 133 and three quarter pounds. 133 and three quarter pounds for the champion, Gervonta Tank Davis. And there they are, ladies and gentlemen. It's the main event of the evening. 12 rounds of the WBA lightweight championship of the world. Both fighters knockout artists. Both of them undefeated. Neither of them ever been knocked down in a fight. It's Gervonta Tank Davis versus Rolando Roli Romero. Well, the time for talking is over ahead of all things Davis Romero Saturday night. But it got a little uh, physical before then. Brian Campbell, Raul Marquez, Stephen Jackson back with you. Stack, we saw the great energy here. We saw an intense face-off. What happened after that one push and suddenly Roly hit the deck? Yeah, Roly, Roly was being uh, a, little, uh, uh, a little cocky, standing in front of Javante, flexing in front of him, and Javante pushed him. But this is what we wanted to see. We all knew it was bad blood. 
We didn't know it was going to be a little pushing and shoving at the weigh-in, but we've seen it. I'm excited about tomorrow. Well, Gervonta Tank Davis is just seconds away from joining us here on stage. Both fighters made the weight for Tank Davis. Raul, forget making the weight. He came in just over 133 pounds. Was that a message he sent? Oh, most definitely. That means he's in great shape, 133 and a quarter. He's ready to go. And you yeah. can see his body, <laughs> his body language. He was smiling. He was happy. He didn't look uptight. Tank is ready to go, guys. Well, there's been a different vibe, a different energy about this fight ever since it was announced, ever since it was first expected to happen last December. Now, this Saturday night, we'll finally see it, 9 p.m. Eastern only on Showtime pay-per-view. But a little little dust up on the stage. Good to see. I, I believe that Rolly Romero is okay. Heck, I fell off the stage <laughs> while we were <laughs> okay for a little bit yeah. before. Are you okay? <laughs> My boy. But here he is, one of the biggest stars in this yeah. sport, Gervonta Tank Davis. Gervonta, let's start off uh, right away with what we saw after that face-off. You put your hands on him. If you can bring your microphone down. And then Rolly was gone. What happened from your perspective? Uh... I just, uh, I just seen him like on the edge of the stage, so I just pushed him. Just get in his head. He talked too much. So. Well, you haven't taken any of this seriously, it seems. All the trash talk, all the buildup. But when you did look in his eyes, you're 24 hours out. What did you see just now on the stage? Uh, I seen that he was ready. I mean, it was different from uh, all the other time that we we faced off. But today, he looked at Lord like he's ready. Thank you. Tank, uh, you look so relaxed, you know, all through the camp, up in the interviews, the weigh-in. You just, I mean, you're having fun. You look so relaxed. And you know what I noticed, too, with Roley? He wasn't yapping his mouth yeah. right now. What do you think? I think that all the talking is over. You know what I mean? It's time now. You know what I mean? We, we, we're a couple hours away. So I think both of us are ready. Uh, both of us are worrying about the big goal. And that's the, you know what I mean, get in there and do our thing. You be, you've been here before. All the talking and all that, it's championship time, it's time to fight. How do you feel now knowing that you know, weigh-in is over, it's time to go, it's time to bang, and this is what you do. You come from this environment where you show up when the lights, when the championship fights, everybody can't show up. How do you prepare for showing up for a big fight like this? Um, Just, you know what I mean, I, I think I was made for this, man. I, I think I was made for it. I think that, you know, um, moments like this, this will this where I get the drill from. This, yeah. this, you know what I mean? I feel as though that this, this is time that, that that I show that I'm not an average fighter. Right. You know what I mean? So I'm definitely ready. I'm definitely looking forward to it. Um, hopefully he can, you know what I mean, he can put up a great fight, you know what I mean, so I can show the world that, you know what I mean, I'm, uh, I'm better than a lot of these guys that's fighting on TV. Wow. You know wow. I mean? yeah. So, Tank, give us, give us a prediction. What's going to happen tomorrow night? What do you uh, expect? To be honest, I really don't, I, I really can't tell you, but... Um, I feel as though, uh, for me, I want to be able to, I want his coach to stop it. Instead of, instead of me knocking him out, <laughs> right. I want his coach you to want stop to quit. it. Yeah, so, so I can, I can feel as though that I beat him and his coach. Right. You know what I mean? Not right. just him. So, yeah, right. <laughs> I, I knock out is just a lucky shot. I want to beat him up bad. Yeah. You, you want to punish him, huh? You want to punish him? Yeah, I want to punish him. Take I think this. both of you are, both of you, sorry about that. Sorry, both of you guys feel the same way. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah no, yeah. indeed. And I was going to say, this camp's been different because Roley's a different kind of animal to, to be up against. You see yeah. all the hijinks. But also, look, you had the public uh, reveal that you said this is your last fight with Mayweather Promotions. There's always going to be the critics. You came in there at 133 and a third, I yeah. believe, looking to be the best shape of your career. Yeah. Are you sending a message? What you know? How does that correlate to this being a different kind of camp for you? I mean, um, I think I'm sending a message to everybody. I feel as though that's why I want to put on a great show. You know what I mean? It's not it's not about uh, just Roley. It's going on. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I just want to show that I want to be the best. I, I am the best. And this it's just a step a step closer. We were talking off cam. Look, pound for pound respect is, is like you can't control that. It's a yeah. bunch of keyboard warriors in their yeah. basement, and I'm part of that yeah. group, by the way. <laughs> Shout out. To My point is though, even in that world, I don't think you get the respect for what you're doing in different divisions against different opponents. How do you think you stand in public perception of how good you are? I think that a lot of fighters know. You know what I mean? I feel as though that um I don't know. It just, it just, I don't know. I, I get a lot of, I think I get a lot of hate that came from, from Floyd. No, you know what I, mean? I just said that. I think that, yeah, since they ain't beat Floyd, 
they want to like get me to hate. You know what I mean? So I gotta work a little bit harder. But since I've been young, I was always the kid that they wanted. They they push harder because of the, the. I was always winning and things like that, and I always wanted to show them that I'm better than the next kid. So that's all it is now. You know what I mean? So I don't really break down when they tell me like uh, I'm not this good or anything like that. But now it's time to show them like I am who I say I am. Uh, uh, where we from built built us for these type of moments. Yes, for we, sure. we we unbreakable. Yes, yes. But you coming coming into this fight since the uh, Gamboa fight, I've seen a different tank. I've seen yes. a different focus. I've seen a different train, and, and I understand why you take why you try to take uh, control of your career. I think it, for me, it started with Gamboa fight. You've been a different fighter. Do you? Do, can you? Is that fa uh, fair to say? Yes, yes, for sure. I, I think I'm taking it more serious. I'm, I'm taking it more like I'm an athlete and not just a. You know what I mean? Uh, a part-time fighter. Right. You know what I mean? So I feel as though that I'm I'm, I'm, I'm I'm going the right direction. Yeah, I can see I mean? that. And I'm, I'm proud of you. When it yeah. comes to taking serious, it also means taking your opponent serious. But yeah. Rollies plays the clown role, whether it's calculated or not. How much are you actually taking serious the threat he brings to the table? Because sometimes you can forget that when you listen yeah. to him talk and see the... Yeah, I mean, I, I, I know for sure that he bring, a, he bring a big threat because of his power. And he's a he's a little he's a he's he's not he's not awkward but he's a little like he different. bring a different yeah he's different, <laughs> he different a little bit so I gotta be in there and uh, I always you know what I mean um, wanna uh, uh, what I can say like fill my opponent out before yeah. I just right. go in there hit honcho you know what I mean and I know that he got punch of power so I'm gonna be in there I'm gonna definitely uh, learn his power and. His his best his best things in there before I go and try to take him out. Fill him out. Is there any is there any facts though? Excuse me to to what he says. You ducked two 2017 sparring matches. You put your hands on him in 2019 at the Mikey Garcia Errol Spence fight. He says these are the 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 bad blood you know planted seeds that got us to this point. Did any of that happen? Did it matter to you? The spawn didn't. I didn't duck him in no spawn. I think I got it on my phone. <laughs> I, I think I got it. I think I got it. We we outside. We outside. So we got we got good we got good what's in there. So let me see real quick. We got we got good Wi-Fi. Uh, yeah, we got good, good Wi-Fi. Wi good. Please have good Wi-Fi. Good hey, Wi-Fi. Hey, hey, these look, we got received. This it right here. Here we go right here. Rolling. So he said I ducked him in, in spawn. Meet you at your gym ASAP. You said at twelve. I work out. I worked out. Meet me tomorrow at 1. Nah, I'm leaving tomorrow. Meet me at the gym. You rich, right? Stay another day. You flake, bro. <laughs> Raul, well, that's it. seeing how the sausage is made right yeah. here. Yeah. yeah. So, Tank, nice. have you, have you, do you feel like, have you fought anybody that is close to his style and don't, like, your smart partners, did, did they emulate his style? Because he, like you said, he does have a, you know, a, a, he attacks from awkward yeah. directions, different angles, and yeah. he's got power, you know. Yeah. Did you have this far like that? Uh, no, but not not um, leading up to this fight, but I feel as though I have a spur as far as amateur, and, like, I sparred a lot of guys. Like, I, I, fought, I had 200 and some right. amateur fights, so. Amateur background means yeah, a lot, bro. Right, and, and he time. just started at yes. 17, so it's not nothing he can bring to the table that I haven't some be, uh, saw before. Yes. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm not just, I'm not overlooking him, but. Right. I'm aware of what he's bringing to the you table. Just, you know you got to be real disciplined yeah, at, yeah, the, at the yeah, beginning of the fight. Yes, yes. But even even mid through the fight and the back yes, end of the fight, yes, again, yes, it's power. You yes. got to be really disciplined with your yes. uh, defense. But I think that uh, he's going, I'm going I'm to frustrate him. I'm gonna Can't him. wait, Tank. Right. Saturday right. night, 9 yeah. p.m. Eastern Let's Showtime. Yeah. We know you're the yeah. man. Yeah. Thank you for joining us. Yes, sir. Thank, Thank you all for having me. Yes, sir. Love, yes, sir. Good luck to you, bro. Good luck to you, man. The champ is here. He's leaving us. Going to get a chat with his opponent coming up, Rolly Romero, shortly. But, Stephen Jackson, uh, your sport might be different at the top level yes. than we did in the NBA, but we talked off camera here, 07 playoffs. <laughs> you kind of put, put it on Dirk Nowitzki, the MVP, in a mental game in that first-round upset Warriors-Mavs. So can you understand where Rolly's coming from in that regard? Yeah, I do, because when you got a guy like Dirk that was 10 times better than me, um, I had to find other ways to be effective. Um, I had to be dirty at times, and I had to really pay attention on what he likes to do best. 
You know, and that, and that comes in the scouting report when you scout right. your opponent. So I, I just really focused on what he liked to do best, hit him with a couple elbows, <laughs> talk to him like I'm from Port Arthur, Texas, and let him hear some of that, that, that southern slang. And uh, it, it kind of affected him. But, but, but being that chance to play against a guy like Dirk and compete against him uh, is, is one of the best in my career. Raul, you're an unbeaten trainer. Yeah, that, and that comes from your family, your son. Right. <laughs> right. It's not all you, by the way. Right. But if you're in Rolly's corner, similar to what he said, you got to be a little bit dirty. You got to play some mental games. What do we need to see out of Romero early if you're on team? Charge him. Charge him early. Mm. Don't waste any time and cut off that distance. Get close to tank. Don't give him no respect. You know, just hit him anywhere. Hit him on the arms. You know, if if he's on the other side of the river, this is boxing. If you get away with it, guys, if you elbow him by accident, oh, it was an accident. <laughs> you know, get one warning, two warnings. But you got to try to frustrate Tank to get him off his game plan. Yeah. Try to make him lose his head. Yes. That's what Roley has to do. And use his strength. I mean, because he's a pretty strong, big guy. Use his strength. Push him. I don't want to see Roley lose his head and try to wrestle him down and body yeah, slam. Yeah. I, I'm afraid that that can happen. It could. Because he, Tank did say he wants to frustrate him. And if he does frustrate him, I could see Roley hugging him and bam, <laughs> and body slam. Roley <laughs> does have yeah. that judo background. Right. Arc. That's yes. where it comes yes. from. Roley could have yes. been an MMA yes. fighter for all we know, though. Yes. We will be chatting with him very shortly. Uh, is Roley on this level? It's weird. You don't normally have that comp that conversation in a pay-per-view fight, but everything about his career has been different. He's 14 pro fights in, and he's headlining a pay-per-view in one of boxing's biggest arenas. So, Stephen Jackson, is it like the ignorance in there is a good thing for him? Maybe he doesn't know he should be nervous? I think it's a testament to him. He believes in himself. He paid his dues. He's here. I mean, you can't really say anything else. He had the fights, he's got the wins, and now he's on this stage. So I got, I'm, I always give credit when credit is due. People can say a lot of things, he shouldn't be here, but he's here. And he earned the right to be here and has a chance to, uh, to fight against Javante Davis. But this is what I want to see, Brian. Look, at the weigh-in, I didn't see Roley, and I'll talk about it. He, didn't, he wasn't yapping. He, was, he no. didn't talk too much. Now, tomorrow is the real deal. Yes, sir. When he sees the Barclays Center, is going to be jam-packed. The lights, the camera, just the, the environment of a big, humongous fight. It can get you. Like, it could really get to you. I've seen it a lot with younger fighters. They fight on Showbox. The lights hit them. They see me and Barry Tompkins and Brian Campbell. Oh, yeah. They get yeah. scared. You know, they get nervous. So I want to see Roley's reaction when he sees all that. I want to see if he's still going to be talking, if he's going to be that confident. Let's look at his body language. I want to see. The lights are brighter. Yeah. And yeah. the playoffs are on the pay per level. There's no yes. question about it. Yes. And on that flip side, Roley's game plan has been to get in the head of Tank Davis' stack. I kind of feel like Tank has fielded that well. He sat right here. He was relaxed. He was laughing. Yeah. If it was going to be a problem tomorrow night, you would think maybe he would see a little more fired up uh, Tank Davis, it, but he believes. I'm Tank feel like everything that he's been through is not a situation or not a anything that, that Roley really can bring tomorrow that he hasn't seen. Yes. And, right. I, and I agree with him. But when you're prepared and you're ready to go, it's nothing that he can do. I think Tank is locked in on, on doing his job and then coming out and getting a good fight. He, he's not talking about knockout. He's not even overlooking Roley. And that's the Tank I've been talking about. Right. He's more professional now. He's coming to work, and that's a scary thing for boxers. I like what Steven Jackson told yeah. Cervante. He said, where we're from prepared us for this. He's talking about Port Arthur, Texas. Right. He's talking about West Baltimore. He's yes. obviously talking about the factory town of right. Pogatuck, Connecticut. <laughs> but, and you, you know, know what? Houston's not an easy walk. Hey, hey, not at all. Not where at where at we all, from? Baby. Where we from? No, where you know what? From? And what I noticed in Tank, you know, he, he's matured over the years. Yes. You know, he's a father now. He's got kids. Yeah. That means a lot. That changes you. And he has been here before. Yeah. He's been in super mega events, you know, in Atlanta when he sold out over there. Yeah. When he sold out in Baltimore. You know, find all these guys, Mario Barrios, Isaac Cruz, Gamboa. And you so get, he's you used get a to celebrity it. turnout. He's used to it. Tanks a different he kind of out. shining he star. He brings them out. No he question. brings them out. And if he wasn't doing the right things, which at times he openly said, you know, you look, your star power. I'm not a star. I don't know this. You probably know this, Stephen yeah. Jackson. You can start reading your own clippings, drinking your oh, own yeah. wine. You know what I'm Put saying? Put too much dip on your chip. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah. Or, yeah. or in your upper lip, depending yeah, exactly. on where you come from. There. <laughs> exactly. But you know, for Tank, I'm seeing that in the commitment. 133 pounds. This isn't yeah. a, a Tank weight situation. He came in and showed us that. And really, with the politics, with the ending of the marriage, with the Mayweather promotions, I haven't seen that effect. Really, he's been polite, talking about Leonard yes. Ellerbe and company, reciprocal on both sides. It's about business right now. I love There's it. There's no room for personal when it's about business at the end of the day, Raul. Okay? Professionals. Just stay professional. Take care of business. Then after this fight, they could talk about it.
But we better believe, though, when you talk about a puncher's chance, you talk about a brawler's chance, Rowley's got both of those. Yes. It could be different if he can land something big, if he can lure Gervonta into a trap. I think that's why all the people are still standing around here. That edge is in the air that yes. you're almost selling a street fight yeah. in, a, in a pure boxing match. I mean, it's got that potential. I mean, we know that, you know, Tag is the most skillful guy. He's he, he's a lot more skillful than, than Rowley's, right? But right. when a guy like Rowley's has that one-punch knockout power that you know he's strong and he could knock the fight could end at any point that's what makes the fight exciting because yeah. even you know like i like i told uh tank you know you got to be really careful with your defense early on mid through the fight and the back end of the fight all the time you got to be very focused and i get careless and i get caught one by one of those crazy wild shots that roley throws from weird angles i mean he hits you from different angles you don't want to get caught one of them because then you know It'll be not a good end. And the crowd will start going crazy. Yes. And, 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 that, and that's how the judges get to getting swayed. But it's going to be great, man. And going back to Tank, to see, to see Tank grow, I think, even with me, I came, I came out of high school and went to the NBA. But it has to, it, it has to be, uh, come to a point where you're not just playing the game and you're becoming a professional. You understand this is a job. And right. I think that's what he's understanding now. It, it was a game to me. Basketball was a game. But once you get in the NBA and guys are relying on you right. and they're paying you all this money to do a job every day, that's when you lock in to become a professional. And I think that's what Tank's doing right now. Uh, it all goes down, of course, Saturday night. You can order this pay-per-view 9 p.m. Eastern right now. Show.com slash PPV. You don't want to miss out. You also don't want to miss out on a little uh, <laughs> early programming. Stephen Jackson, myself, 7 p.m. Eastern on Saturday night on the Showtime Sports 40, YouTube 40 channels, along with Julian J. Rock Williams. You're going to be busy, hey, Raul. You're yeah, calling busy, flights. man. He can't be with us. Wait, busy make man. sure you guys tune in for, on the pay-per-view part for all the Latino fans, all yes. the Mexican fans that are going to be Latinos. watching. I'll be doing the Spanish with the great Alejandro Luna. So tune in. You get the Spanish. You get undercard fights. <sighs> with you guys, you get... The, the the English, the big broadcast team, you know, Brian Custer, uh, Abner Mares, Mauro Ronaldo, Abner Bernstein, and then you get me and Alejandro in the Spanish, so you can't go wrong with Showtime, Pay -per -view guys. Pay-per-view begins Showtime boxing. 9 p.m. Eastern, but 7 yeah. p.m. Eastern, we'll get you set up, a little fun preview show. Some special guests on the Showtime uh, sports social channels on YouTube as well, so check that out. We're going to get Roly Romero up here in a second, but, you know, you're multilingual, English, Spanish. The, I, the, tra I translate, too. Don't language forget. of love. I do it Body all. language. I speak body, body language. language. Is that what it's called? Body <laughs> language. <Yeah. laughs> body language. L. Diamante, when you look back over your great career, and you've had some big moments, former champion yes. of the world, did you have that one Roley in your career that pushed those buttons that got you riled up? Honestly, uh, you know, the, the only fight that I really had like that was when I fought Fernando Vargas, you know, yeah. because we had, we had Oscar De La Hoya. He was my Olympic roommate and he wanted to fight Oscar. And at, at that point, Oscar allowed me to train up in his training camp in Big Bear. Yes. And that kind of affected, uh, Fernando, you know, back then Fernando was really, he, you touch him, you get mad for nothing. You know, he, mm -hmm. he had that anger, you know, he was young, but now, you know, we, we see each other at tournaments. He's got his kids boxing. They're doing really well. And you know, we're, we're friendly now. That's, that's old news. I think now. they were trying to figure out who's right. most Mexican, right? <laughs> hey, you know what? You heard that before about the, who's more Mexican. Yes, yes. Did you finally understand how that I works? I understand how it works. Hang on All right. with you. Okay, the security <laughs> detail you got, I there understand go. how right. that works. Uh, Steven J Jackson, we do have Roly coming in right yeah. now. We want to ask him about what took place on that stage because it did yes. look like Gervonta. I don't think Roley got in his head, but Gervonta did push him. Roley, hey, trust me. Roley is calculated. He knows everything he's doing. <laughs> he's ready. Trust me. He's calculated. He did land on his feet, as did I, after yes, that fall did. I took off of the stage here. But unbeaten, 14-0 and 0, with 12 knockouts. He is the disruptor himself, Rolando Roley Romero. Pay-per-view headliner just 15 fights into his pro career. Hair's but Roley, good. Good. right good. off the top, friend, <laughs> the face-off. The push? What the heck happened up there? The motherfucker pushed me. So. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> he fucking scared. He's afraid of fucking. I'm a fucking alpha compared to him. He he, 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 he a bitch, man. He a bitch for that, man. I could have fucked up the fight, man. With twisting ankle or some shit, the fight's over, no? How'd you land? On your feet? Everything good? Oh, man, I got some crazy ass replays. Like, boom, boom. Man, and, oh, and then the thing, my go swim, he go run behind somebody. He's scared, man. He's scared, <laughs> man. You see the mushy in his eyes. He's scared, scared. You see, Raul, I can't figure him out. Me neither. Is he Me crazy? Me crazy like but I love it. I love it. Roly, Roly, can you tell our audience how, how serious, bro, how serious are you about knocking Tank out in one round? Can you tell us how that's going to happen and why you're going to do it? 
Man, I don't know how many times I was like, said it, man. I'm going <laughs> to knock him out. I'm going to run. <laughs> he, he's scared, and he know I'm going to knock him out. He know I'm going to knock him out. He's terrified of me. I've been we I've been terrifying. watching I've been watching all the, all the press conference and I've been I've been watching bro. You know is is it some you know something that we don't know? I know a lot that y'all don't know. <laughs> hey, I, you, I, I you, you, you know what's the best information in the world? Yeah. Information I know you don't know. <laughs> well, 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 Stephen, I had him on Morning Combat this week. He revealed the third nipple. I don't know if that's if we can say I that. Heard here, but, uh, third that is, <laughs> he has a lot that nobody else knows. Oh, man. Uh, but, man but, it's not good luck charm. But, but Rolly, it's good luck charm. What, do, what do you oh, know man. about Tank? Is it the history of being around the same gym? What is it? Man. Just let's say like this, man. I, you know, since I've been there with friend there, you know, I, 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 I've got to explore a little bit of his mind. You know, I know what's in there. I know, I know everything about. I know all his insecurities. I know everything about him. All right, Stack, you had some inside access to the DMs of one Gervonta Tank Davis. Yeah, so we saw the receipts today. He says there was no ducking and sparring in 2017. Well, well, I'll show you that shit right now. Shit. Uh -oh. Okay. Oh, okay. That's, okay. Right. That, that's what he showed us. He showed us DMs as well. Stack yeah. has two sides to every story, to be he said, fair. He, he said you said you had to get out of town. No, no, that's some bullshit. <laughs> I live in Vegas. What the fuck you mean? This guy's crazy. Bro, he, he, how uh, would you describe your DS? He, 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 the boy punch drunk. <laughs> The boy punch drunk. Honestly, he shouldn't be fighting. I don't know. Does he pass his fucking cat scan and shit? <laughs> <laughs> Look, meet me at your gym ASAP. He, you said today at twelve. Right? right, three hours ahead. So not. So right here is nine. I mean at six, right? I'm like, you said today at twelve. I worked out already, right? So meet tomorrow at one. No, I'm leaving. Meet me. I'm like, you rich, right? Stay another day. He's like, you a hoe? All this bullshit, you know, and then all this stuff, right? I'm like, tomorrow at one, right? Yeah, fam, you're scared, right? I was like, what's the gym? He's like, what's the gym manager? Well, you can't remember? You punch you, you Same one you've been training at. Say less. And what, okay, well, right? that settles it, okay? okay that settles oh, okay. it. There so, it is. So, so, okay. So, so he showed up. Uh, so, so he's like, where you at? Look at the time. Come back over here. Look at the yeah. time. <laughs> Look at the time. Zoom back in. Oh, it's really oh, 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 so, so, the, it, so it's Vegas time, right? So it's three. I'm oh, like, bro, you two hours goodness. late. What yeah. the fuck? To so I fair, worked out again. We didn't He's see fucking... the timestamps on, on Exa That's what I'm saying. Fair. He ain't show up. All right, well. He ain't show up. He's well, scared of me. Hey, well, y'all get, get to fight for real tomorrow. Damn all the sparks. That's if he don't give a fuck, uh, you, know, you know, maybe his stomach might hurt, you know. You know, he's on his <laughs> menstrual cycle and shit, you know. Bro, I got to I go, no comment on that. I got to ask <laughs> you about this, though, is, look, the stage is brighter at this level, but you either look like nothing phases you or maybe you don't know you're supposed to be nervous here, but how are you dealing with the, the, the throngs of people, the stress, the media obligations, everything that comes with this level? Hey, everybody in this damn place love me. Shit. I think they love me too, shit. If they better love me, shit, I'm making them all that money. You, def you definitely get, get, selling He spot. broke. You definitely selling He spot. broke. Shit, I don't know what I'm making all the money for everybody. Rolly, Shit. Rolly, so far, like, you've been doing interviews, the camera's on you, or the whole shebang, right? How's it going to be tomorrow when you walk into the Barclays Center and it's sold out, all the stars, the lights? There's going to be have a you ever smell been, in the yeah, air, too. Have you ever that been in that yeah. kind of environment? What do you feel? Good. I don't know. It feels good, bro. All right. I don't know. I don't pay attention to that shit. I just go in there and go beat the fuck out of whoever's in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> Rolly, uh, what, what, what are you going to do with this win? I know you're a confident guy. KO1, first punch that lands. But, like, you knock out Javante Davis on Showtime pay-per-view, you're getting different phone calls the next morning, okay? The DMs are going to look a little different. No, 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 no. I am not picking up my phone for anybody. I, I'm going to go on vacation. I, stuff. I, ain't, I ain't talking to nobody for a fucking week. Y'all can hit me up after that. <laughs> hey, listen, Rolly, you're – it is Cubano, right? You're – Cuban, right? Me va Cubano, claro. Cubano. Something you want to say to your, all your Latino fans in Spanish? Or, you know, that, you, hey, say eh, in Spanish. Eh, eh, esto, lo, esto lo estoy haciendo para la raza. Así mismo. There we la go. Raza. He's doing right. it for la raza. La you raza. Know, la, I know about that. Like that or do we have He's to... doing it for his people, man. He's doing la it for raza. his people. La raza. Uh, we talk about, uh, to, in closing here, we talk about the toughness, West Baltimore, that makes Gervonta who he is. What was your Las Vegas upbringing like that prepared you for, for who you are, this profession? Let's say it like this. Baltimore right now is ranked number four most dangerous city in the country as far as murders and stuff. Vegas is ranked number three. That says it all. And I'm from the worst part of Vegas. So, yeah, I'm over there from, well, around, right there around Palo Verde, you know. 
All that stuff, Swanson and Twain, where, where it used to be called Swanson and Twain, they changed the name. And uh, my po- my pops lived over there in downtown Vegas, and my mom lived over there in Swanson and Twain. So, yeah, I'm from a pretty fucked up part. I mean, the most dangerous building in Vegas, the most dangerous apartment complex, literally right there on fucking Swanson and Twain. Mm-hmm. Damn. And that's where the most murders happened last year. Well, the best thing about that is both of y'all from them areas and both of y'all here fighting, making great money for boxing and, and changing y'all family's lives. I think it's a good point. But for both I, y- I don't know about him, but my family doing it. My, I'm making sure my family good. Hey, I saw your dad on All Access. <laughs> your dad is a star in the making, okay? Rolando Sr., is that his name? Yeah, Rolando Sr. He, he's a fiery dude, right? Yeah, but he's a little explosive, man. He kind of scares me. <laughs> he's, he's, the, he's the only mother uh, pissed me off that I can't swing on. <laughs> uh, the, the, the new reality show starring me and Roly is in the works, in production at there this moment. Go. But uh, Roly Romero, thanks for your time. Uh, best of luck to you, Good obviously. Chance. Saturday night, 9 p.m. Eastern, Showtime pay-per-view. What's your final message, final statement to the fans, to Gervonta? What are we going to see in the ring tomorrow Hey, night? man, I ain't got to say I said it a million times, man. Just buy the pay-per-view. Y'all going to see, man. I'm going to start in the fucking making. You see this y'all number one ranked pound-for-pound pound fighter in the world. And y'all see Saturday night. The pound-for-pound pound king. He said it. He's pound right here. Pound. Wow. <laughs> Thank you so much, Roly. Best of luck to on, you. What's up? You want to order that pay-per-view that Roly's nice talking about? Bro. Show.com Good luck, slash P P V. There he is. Oh, man. Go get him, Rolly. All right. <laughs> What's uh, the in, character, man. In, in closing, Good. in closing, gentlemen, uh, Raul, let's put a bow on it. We got a, a bow on it. We got to talk to both fighters. Right. Rolly didn't crack. He he did the different dude thing the whole time. I mean, yes. uh, how do you try to identify? Be a counsel, Be a therapist for a second. Who the heck is this guy underneath it? He's hard to figure out, man. But I guess, I, you know, we'll see when the bell rings tomorrow. We'll see what, what he really is about. Hey, he said he's going to knock him the F out. I'm going to be waiting for that. And Tank says, you know, he's going to take care of business. He's in great shape. He made weight. It's, 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 it's all said and done. Stack, We're ready. This fight has no business going the distance, right? It's not going to go the distance. Uh, sitting here talking to Roley, I kind of seen through all that. He's worried. He's worried. Ooh. I've seen. I, I I've seen through a little bit. I've seen a little. He's he's trying to laugh it off and make it seem like it's not as serious as it is. But I seen it in his eyes. Tank is all in his mind. He thinks he's in Tank's head. I think Tank's more is in is in his head than he's in Tank's. Oh, head. they call that yes, yes, yes. No real right. no recognizing question. surreal. Yes, that's yes, what they yes, call that yes, stuff right yes. there. Uh, thank you for your time, and don't forget Saturday night, 9 p.m. Eastern. You got to see these two in the ring, the Barclays Center in Brooklyn. Unbeaten lightweights, hard-hitting ones at that. Gervonta Tank Davis, Rolando, Roly Romero. We made weight. We're all about that. Steven Jackson, your 2003 NBA champion, co-host of Showtime Digital's All the Smoke. And don't you know this guy, El Diamante, <laughs> the former Diamante. world yeah, you like champion that. You himself. You like that, huh? You, you like, like that. that. I am Brian Campbell. El Diamante, Campbell. right here, El Diamante. <laughs> Enjoy the fight Saturday night. Wow, don't miss it. All right. It's going to be crazy in there. I just hope he don't use his elbows like he do a lot. What about all the little low blows that you threw at Little Santa Cruz or when you hit Francisco Fonseca in the back of the head where they should have DQ'd your ass? You know how when somebody first come in the gym and, like, they've been coming for, like, a little minute, so they think they nice now. He's not an awkward fighter. He's just a dumbass fighter. Motherfucker, you a bitch. You scared as shit. Hey, like, there's no way I can miss you. as a big-ass head like the koala shape. Hey, you fucking koala with chlamydia, man. What? This guy is a clown. I'm the top guy of 135 or 130 or 140. I got way more skills than you. What, like, what? Because you go, oh, you're down. You're down. I'm the biggest name in boxing. Y'all going to see this shit. May 28th, I'm going to knock Javante the yes. fuck out. And time is now. <laughs> fuck all the talking. Time is now. Saturday night, it's just due date.